Waz and I made it to space, but that's just the beginning. We now need to explore the galaxy and make our factory interplanetary. Our goal is to beat Space Exploration plus Crastorio 2 before Space Age releases and time isn't on our side. Will we make it or will this save file be a mark of shame on my hard drive for the rest of time? Welcome to a race against time and space. Sauce man. Same thing we do every night. Was. Try to take over. A planet in our solar system. <laughs> Waffle fries. Hello, it is number 11. Last time we designed a space friendly train setup, pounded our way through two new resources, Iridium and Immersite, and went hunting for the next resource to tackle. I'm truly hoping things will go smoother on the next planet we visit, but it's K2SE. You never know when the mud is suddenly going to suplex you from the top ropes. We've been playing this mod for so long that we're thoroughly cooked. Oh, who lives in a pinot under the sea? Me. M E E E. Who's eating charred sweet potato fries? Probably you. No, they're really fucking char like like they're like not even joking. Fuck off, please. I don't want to see any comments about dementia, okay? I wish we did uh, big boy trains for Navis LTN. I'm just thinking of how much better it would be. Here we are. I mean, we can always just <clears throat> run more trains too. This is the rocket that I'm loading up for the next planet we go to. We still haven't chosen between Beryl or Holmanite for the resource to focus on, but either way, the rocket load is going to look pretty similar. There are a lot of different things that are important to bring with miners, assemblers, solar panels, accumulators, inserters, belts, underground splitters, speed, prod, and efficiency mods. Never thought I'd respect efficiency modules. Trains, beacons, 10 other types of buildings. Forgetting any of these is a massive pain in the ass, and it's been taking me one to two hours just to load these first launch rockets. I am drain bed. Oh, I meant to pick up some fucking ice cream and forgot uh, i'm sad now easy clip uh, i guess on hagen can just burn some of the excess stuff from crude oil or power maybe i got hit once by a fucking biter and lost 75 percent of my jet's health there's speed how's it going fellas oh yeah but my second instinct's like i have 550,000 hours playing video games and board <laughs> games and like like, actually, I'm the problem. I'm using all of my brain cells. It's so funny. They have this little, um, I think it's a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix who's like 13 years old and he's got like a really bad back. He's just this tiny little bloopy little like happy dog. His breath was like nuclear. They gave him some sort of like bacon treat and like, holy oh. shit, he would like walk up to you and like, you know, <laughs> and you're yeah. just like, He's just like on the ground, five feet away, but oh my God, he's got like a extended range attachment or something. I was dying. <laughs> my brother in Christ. Brad and ACOG, you knew where my nose was. <laughs> he's like, you always got the 8X. <laughs> I think you're going to be a dad someday. <clears throat> Already a fucking dad. You know how many people have some comment sauce daddy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most cringe thing you've ever said, but I'm, I'm here for it. Dude, I didn't start this shit, man. I'm... <laughs> I'm just along for the ride. Oh boy, it's the man of the hour. Why are you degenerates still awake? Base. Is he just bleeding everywhere? Yeah, for like two seconds. Nice, dude. As far as I know, it was the only injury. What about emotional injuries? Uh, we don't keep track of those. Like and subscribe and hit that bell. Um, no. Not today. When you go YouTuber full time, then you gotta start shilling. You know, there, there's there's just, there's a turning point and, and uh, you know, this logistics train network how-to video sponsored by yeah <laughs> that's going in the video you probably should not put that in the video dude no it's going in the going to some more history class yeah but i put your ass out of a job brother that's true mm. <laughs> okay 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 rutherford b hazy ipa <laughs> who's who's your favorite president i mean you gotta go lincoln but like i think he was he was the best president i don't know if he was my favorite though I respect uh ulysses s grant yeah yeah I, I like grant he's literally like the white knight he's just like i'm gonna my whole Whole life i'm just gonna be a fucking white knight but like actually mm -hmm. i do like polk i don't know if i know anything about polk we need got yeah, these copper mines are just fucking this wall so hard holy shit the two small ones the pollution is just like super spreading now and i need to put a bunch more lasers up i wonder maybe you could get the artillery train going i don't know how much 
effort that is. I mean, honestly, if I'm gonna do anything, I'm just gonna put some artillery at the wall and have the bots deliver shells. Nuclear artillery shell. Uh, haha. <laughs> Uh, uh, no one told me about that. That's that's fun. What, what's the radius on that? That's the only reason why I was concerned. 30 radius. Okay, so that's really big radius. God, dude, I'm about to fucking fly over to Avorion and just refill that fucking train. We can... Do we have space artillery? We could just shoot it. We don't yet. We will be getting that pretty soon, though. Did you want to go to that uranium planet? I mean, at some point, I'm gearing up to go to Hagen to get the crinite, the copper mines. I just want them to last for a long time so i wonder if i trim the surface and then we rescan it do you think it regenerates it i would be surprised because then you could just hack all your planets so it probably doesn't regenerate it never mind you know be really cool is if you could copy a recipe from a assembler and paste it onto a requester and it would just set the resources you can do that what or shift right click shift left click that's part of why bot malls are so easy what yeah. what what? What? What the fuck? Why did I know about this? What? I set up that whole ass bot mall in Fomani by hand. Oh my, I didn't know that. Ugh, Lamayo. Brother, brother, <laughs> why you do this to me? I didn't do this. You, you did, did this. this. Uh, you, I mean, you call yourself a Dosh fan. If you were a true Dosh fan, you would have known this. I do not recall Dosh ever mentioning that. Uh, the rocket is full, going to Hagen. I don't think I'm missing anything important. You'll remember when he get there. Yeah. Well, let me know if you need anything else and I'll launch a rocket at you. Appreciate that. I should fill up my inventory with random shit before I go. Can you even use your trash slots? Oh, I just looked. There's antimatter artillery shells. Ow. Okay. Guess how much damage the antimatter artillery does? Infinite. It does 20,000 damage. Ooh. Big, big chooch. <laughs> All right, I'm about to about to take off. Have fun. <laughs> well, that's a <laughs> perfect thing to play in the background of this rocket taking off. Do it. All right, where are we crashing here? My hopes were to crash land on the west side of this planet. There's a great spot with oil, cryonite, barrel, a core miner location, and even some nearby iron and copper mines. Unfortunately, I landed in the middle of the planet, but there is a massive 2.9 million iron mine right here, so that will at least help get a few things started. That is extremely cringe. Third time building out an alien planet, and I have by far the best game plan this time. Solar is 22%, so it sucks, but it's still free, so I'm going to set these up to get a small amount of power that I will chain into pumping oil and refining it into primarily light oil, which will get refined into processed fuel and burned in burner generators. This will get me a few hundred megawatts, more than enough to mine cryonite and process it into rods, which can also be used to process beryl into ingots, its final product. Then I just need to make rocket fuel, which is basically free because this planet has a massive amount of oil. Finally, if I have all the resources, I can make cargo rocket sections using a new recipe that only adds a little bit of barrel to double the amount of cargo sections made. This planet will be 100% independent, capable of exporting cryonite and beryl. We're intergalactic veterans now, and I'm starting to feel comfortable actually developing and executing these large game plans. I'm also going to use LTN on this planet, which massively reduces the amount of time needed to set up train networks while actually adding features that were impossible with Navis's system. Artillery train is on its way. I missed that. Ooh, I got here just in time. Oh man, the map view. Oh, beauty. The range on that artillery is not very high. It's pretty nice though with the pollution control. It sucks too, the like range upgrades are so expensive. Oh, chalk it up as a success, Captain.
I will, I will. I will literally leave this server. This is the Christian Minecraft server. You know, it is it is very cathartic. Literally just burning gas. You don't get to do that much in Factoria. You gotta be like, eh, solar panels and nuclear. Yeah. But here I get to just burn coal. Oh yeah. Where's the nuclear bombs? Uh, I could make some of those. Should I make a couple? Yeah, we should we should have like the Dune 2 like stockpile <laughs> of nukes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, it does destroy cliffs. We could use it in instead of cliff explosives <laughs> nuclear artillery okay well, yeah when in rome i noticed you you're cheating right now you brought your jet it's not cheating i'm gonna plan it i thought we said no jets on off of Navius. i used my jet on avorion so i, oh, I, well, I, I guess punched we'll... that cherry a while ago i remember no jets in space definitely no jets in space <laughs> What's up? What is up, you sluts? What are we Yo, doing it's... tonight? It's Alter Bussy, dude. Mm, Yo. It's your boy, Alter Bussy. Yeah, I, uh, ding chilling. Oh, yeah. I'm leaving. They don't have coal there. I mean, you have a little trickle from the core miner. There's a few patches here and there. Because it's like 10 per ingot. Well, it was it was one or the other, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pyroflux or coal and sand. Got plenty of fucking sand is crushing anything just makes sand so you just end up with a fuckload of it once again here's the cryonite process boil it mash it put it in a stew nothing too crazy when i first set this up on avorion the process was filled with confusion but i'm back with a vengeance to actually finish the full cryonite rod process on a single planet What up? You. Oh. What? I like when your new, oh, yeah. uh, completely black Discord icon. I changed it. I, I can't have a picture of iced tea. Damn. Damn. <laughs> it's just reading a few of my comments. Uh, this one stuck out. Um, just imagine an anime profile picture. Bro, IFR just watched this and on God FR, FR said hell yeah. <laughs> The hell is wrong with you? Uh, that is sus. Brother. Boys, we got them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should use your influence to craft a legion of Roman air, uh, or a legion of legionnaires. The last video I called everybody a cat boy and like half of the people who commented are on board. Oh, they are, they like the cat boys or? They are cat boys. They like boys. being called a oh. cat boy. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't make this. It's just, it's just where I am. All right. <laughs> this is this is what what you appeal to. You <laughs> appeal to cat boys. I didn't know I appealed to cat boys. Okay, I just the cat riz. I mean, some would call it the genre. Oh god, it didn't. That joke didn't hit at all. It sounded better in my head. Is it too cerebral for me to understand? Oh, you'll 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 get the next one for sure. They they, they can't all be good. Yeah, but I'll definitely only keep the bad ones. And... Oh good, we gotta make sure I don't seem funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unfunny supercut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just crickets. It's just every just ten just ten minutes of <laughs> of jokes that don't land. <laughs> Or like he'll actually say something funny, but just cut out the like laughter yeah. audio. Yeah. <laughs> just silence it and let the like gameplay keep going. Yeah. yeah, I was actually gonna start charging you guys for every joke that you make that isn't funny. Send you an invoice. You guys gotta fucking get on that. And just gaslight the shit out of people. I mean, that's the, that's the trajectory we got already. Hey man, if you want to charge for unfunny jokes, I think we'll be the ones making money. Is that too cerebral for me again? Yes. <laughs> that asshole. With bots being a hot commodity, I'm going to try and make malls for more red belts without bots by just chaining items across single assemblers using bobs and inserters. It's compact and I don't need a lot of them, so it was a good solution and it was kind of fun to set it up this way. Oh, dude, I have an assembler that's legitimately making 30 gears per second. Oh, that's funny to see. Bats. Yeah, brother. Who needs a bot mall when you can just, it's a bob mall. It's just bobs inserters. That is kind of horrifying, dude. It's just the one assembler. 21 a second, very speed. This is the oil field in the west. It will be balancing light, heavy, and petroleum as it will be making cryonite rods and lube with the heavy oil solid fuel with the light oil to make rocket fuel and sulfur and plastic with the petroleum. 
nothing new here, just the cryonite processing that we're all familiar with. Like last time, I'm adding a landfill assembler. Unlike last time, I'm going to only turn it on if we're overflowing with sand. There are actually a lot of things I'm going to make with this sand, and I want to keep an ample supply around for it. On top of solid fuel and light oil, rocket fuel just needs oxygen, which is easy enough to air condense, and iron, which I'm already mining. This rail rubs up against the heavy oil tank. I always tell myself that I'm going to be clean and allow space for expanding factories just in case, but I guess I just got that dog in me. A dog that's hungry for spaghetti. Guess what I did today. I can't think of anything clever. I opened my thumb up down to the bone. Wow, what a... Lot of blood. Are you okay? Yeah, I just put a band-aid on it. Oh, I thought you had to like go to the hospital or something. No. It would be a shame. Think of the loss of productivity on the factory. You gotta think of the bottom line before you cut yourself open. Life sucks any day. I really want to eat more, but I probably shouldn't. Fritos, Fritos, Fritos. Sun chips, Doritos. Sun chips, Sun chip, Fritos. Fritos, Fritos scoops. Doritos, Doritos, Doritos. 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 <laughs> Takis. Takis. Oh, wait, I can use the power of logistics trains. I was going to make cookies. Should I go make cookies? Using LTN requires a depot, which is a train stop that trains go to when they're idling or need fuel. All you need to do is set a constant combinator to have the train stop signal going into the input of the train stop, and the train will figure out the rest. I don't feel like making cookies. I want cookies, but I don't want to go make cookies. Just south of our base, I have set up core mining. The stone and core fragments are going to be trained out, while the cryonite will be crushed into crushed cryonite and sand, which will both be trained out separately. On a items per stack basis, this is slightly more efficient than training out the raw cryonite. This is bad. bad. Down to the bone. Do -na 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 -na. Semi-trashy isekai. I've spent the last 37 years memorizing agricultural, uh... Close! 39 years! Oh uh... my fucking god, I knew it. Oh my god, the cow is pregnant. Four resource exports means four more compact train stops. It always feels good to see how tightly these can be packed together. Well, that is so fucking wonderful. Just need a place to drop off the barrel and start working on our new resource. Barrel. That sounds like a rap. God, God dang it, yeah. barrel, I told you. Oh God, it's making fucking messages for me over here. Uh, thank you for adding the, the shut the fuck up signal. Turns out the STFU signal you can add to train stops, which in theory turns off the notifications, does not in fact turn off the notifications. I said I wanted the rocket to text me when it's ready, not to be DM'd by these thirsty trains. One to people. People. Nana. Dude, every fucking time. <laughs> That's the people. Why is that so fucking entertaining? Anyway, the first thing I want to make with our pile of sand is glass. This will be needed later for rocket cargo sections, and I have enough sand that I might even be able to send some directly to space to help with the astronomic science, which apparently needs tons of glass. You took the people. The fucking rent free, dude. Dude. Both of those things are wrong. Oh. Second is quartz, so I can make silicon, also needed in cargo rocket sections, and shit, I need electric furnaces to make silicon. Yeah, industrial furnaces can't make certain things like silicon. I didn't bring any electric furnaces, so I guess I gotta make some. Not sure if this is intentional or just jank. I don't see why an industrial furnace wouldn't be able to. I suppose my intuition doesn't have a great track record though. I basically don't know shit about physics or chemistry or engineering. I've been wrong about the density of steel and electricity needs of electrolysis. 
By day, I am a data scientist, so I spend my time worrying about other things like databases and machine learning. That's probably why all my factories look AI generated. Well, I don't have enough heat shielding for electric furnaces right now, so I'm going to focus on crushing core fragments. This is the third time setting these up, so it's a matter of filtered splitters and sending all 10 outputs to where they need to go. Nothing crazy. You know, it'd be a cool upgrade as if they would let you mine cliffs, like antimatter pickaxe or something. Jackhammer, why do you need some cliff explosives or something? No. I'm gonna send you an entire rocket with one stack of cliff explosives and nothing else. I think you broke some signals somewhere. I might just need a turnaround. Do you want to build that loop and see if that fixes it? Because it's saying it can't pass, and I think it's because I can't turn around or something. Believe it or not, this absurd looking loop is necessary. Weird things happen on single lane train tracks. Yep. What? Oh, it's trying to go here. Oh. What would I do without Waz helicopter parenting my trains? One issue with how you're loading these is that the bottom warehouse gets filled first. So even though it has the correct amount to fill two train cars, it doesn't fill the top one. 40 stacks is one train inventory. So the bottom one fills up to one train inventory. The top one fills up to one. The, the, the problem is like, as soon as you start unloading from the bottom one, it unloads from the top one into the bottom one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could just disable them if the train is there by reading the train signal as well. Okay. It's a subtle change, but the inserters that are facing vertically here need to be turned off when the train is loading so that items that should end up in the top train don't just get loaded into the bottom warehouse instead, forcing the train to wait forever. Oh, it's, it, oh god, oh god, it fucked up. Ah, it unloaded Cryonite into the, I don't think you can have them the same name. I didn't name any of them, what the fuck? So you copy pasted them, so they're all the same name. They're tweaking out now. But that, that's why it was being dumb. Ugh. All right, you can turn off train stop names in the blueprint filter, thankfully. Moving on, although we make a lot of sand, there isn't much stone on this planet. Thankfully, I can make green circuits using an alternative recipe that uses wood instead of stone tablets, and because water is here, wood is basically free, so I can make wood in greenhouses and save my stone for other things like stone bricks. Oh. Wood is also needed for coke, then steel, which I'm going to need a lot of. Are you doing anything with your uh, little electricity factory over there? Yeah, it's providing electricity. Yeah, I was very excited about having oil that for the first time in its life didn't have to train somewhere. Smog factory. There's, there's still a lot of this planet unsullied by your touch. Yeah, dude, there's gotta be like blueprint gremlins somewhere in here. I might be the gremlin in that case. Uh, we still have so much of the fucking uranium to burn through in here. 97k uranium. Uh, well, guess what? We don't have to send to space very often. Cryonite rods will be stockpiled and sent back up to the cargo rocket pads in the northeast for exporting, as well as sent west as an input to making beryl ingots. 40% productivity, just just off the bat for miners, is very nice. What? Where, how do you get 40%? It's just big miners. They're just they're just plus 40%. Nothing needed. What the shit? Hell yeah, brother. Disgusting. Okay, I am going fucking nuts trying to figure out why this thing keeps hanging. Why? Maybe if we nuke the train. It shouldn't matter. Oh, Beryl stacks to 50. That's nice. What were you thinking it stacked to? Raw iridite stacks to 10. So yeah. You have this crinite mine up here that's not doing anything because you're t oh. to less than zero, so it doesn't ever. I, every hour I find something where I'm like literal brain damage. In other news, I'm finally ready to downgrade my industrial furnaces so they can make silicon. That feels pretty bad. Like last night, I got into like a huge flow state just building this cryonite factory. The map tab, and there's message level, and if you set that to one, it'll only give us errors and warnings. I also need to build a long track out east to where my rocket crash landed. There's a lot of valuable stuff and even some scrap that can be recycled in the warehouses. I wisely built them parallel next to each other so they'll be easy to load onto a train. They're filled with lots of things, but thankfully LTN allows for me to connect the train request to inserters so they only pull what the train wants when it comes to load. 
I love the flexible functionality. What the fuck? LTN is a scam. Why are you talking to me, you bitch? Buffering is magic. Hey, guess how many uh, low density structure one space provider train station takes? 3,000. Wait, really? Yeah. Why? Who did this? Space loaders take 50 low density structure. Yeah, that's absurd. Oh, we're out of coal again? Yeah, we're out of coal again. Man, I just sent up 10,000 coal and we immediately use it all. What the fuck? I gotta up the coal percentage. Ooh, Hades, oh my God. Hades has a lot of coal. It's waterless and 100% threat but it has a absolute fuck ton of coal. Waterless is so shitty, cause it's like, you can't make rocket fuel. You can't do any oil. But it, it does have a 1,621% frequency, 367% size, and 358% richness on the coal. It's a lot of coal. Yeah, literally under the spawn, there's an 8 million coal, a 6.7 million coal, an 8.4 million coal, a 10 million coal, and a 7.6 million coal that's halfway off the map so it's bigger than that and then another 9 million coal as soon as we get rocks to drop we get beryl is the first new resource not to get crushed it gets mixed with sulfuric acid to become beryllium sulfate somehow that still makes sand but i'm not complaining i've come to love all the extra sand that new resources spit out ooh, ooh, ooh. in fact it's enough sand to provide glass for the astronomic space science waz is making a great discovery for what is shaping up to be the most put together planet so far Huh, could have sworn we turned those off, LTN. Nope, that didn't change it. Still has the noise. In any case, beryllium hydroxide is next. Just need cryonite rods and water. After setting up iridite, this is easy mode. Very aesthetic shape you got there. Let's be real. The rare Waz seal of approval is the most important part of this project. Fuck. Oh shit, I'm gonna mix cookies. They call to me. Next is beryllium powder. Literally just add water. Easy layup. GG, go next. You know what I want to do to fuck with people? Is uh, make like chocolate chip cookies with garlic salt instead of regular salt. I eat them. I'm not old enough to not give a fuck about anything yet. That's not true. The real question is, do I add coconut to my cookies? You're asking me absolutely not. It Consistency is ass. You haven't had true coconut. You have to put the lime in it. Here's where it gets interesting. Beryllium powder can be turned into ingots with either coal or pyroflux. The only pyroflux we have is from the core miner, otherwise we would need to import it, but it is twice as efficient as using coal. On the other hand, there is a bit of natural coal here on this planet to use, but otherwise we'd be taking from the core miner again. My idea was to do a bit of both, utilizing the pyroflux whenever we have it, then resorting to coal when the pyroflux runs out. Yippee! Ever just eaten a stick of butter, just straight up? Uh, absolutely not. Ever been to a Turkish prism? Turkish prism? We got new shapes? Ever seen a gross man make it? There's like a very small, like 69k old mine, and mm -hmm. I wish I could shove more productivity modules. It's so small, I keep missing it out. It's 36k. Oh, there's a, there's a 21k on the other side of the fucking planet, and oh, 75k down there. I mean, that's, you know, oh, honestly, I might put a rocket ship down there just to launch the rocket to the other side of the planet it would be so holy shit think of the real cost you don't even have fuel here my dude I could liquefy the coal to make rocket fuel yeah. okay that's so we know we've made it if we can justify launching an intraplanetary rocket honestly there's so many rocks on this planet does it ever make sense to just like smash rocks until they make coal yo wait we could turn heavy oil into coal Yo, we have an absolute buckload of heavy oil here. We have like way too much. Yeah, because we have like a 4,000 4, oil field up here. Mostly focuses on heavy. It's all heavy oil. Oh, there's 5,000 north? Yeah, no, this plan is fucking cracked. Well, you're, you're going to have to crack it. <laughs> you heard that right. We can make coal out of heavy oil. That means infinite coal. With oil being the third most prevalent resource on this planet, all we need to do is find a way to get barrel over to the processing center as fast as we can. Dude, this fucking central water repository is just working overtime. There's only, <laughs> there's only, I'm, I'm using more slots than I'm not on it. 
Because there's so many things that use water. That's crazy. I'm very excited about turning this heavy oil into coal. What's up, you fucking hoes? Just fucking chilling, eating some fucking rice. Spit it out, fucking piece of shit. You don't love me like I love you. <laughs> stomach ulcers, stomach ulcers. Oh, Jesus, who's screaming? Jesus Christ. Did you guys hear that? Hang on. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think that helped. Was it someone outside <laughs> screaming or what? Yeah, I got to use my bullhorn. <laughs> we dude, heard we, you yell, shut the it. fuck up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, dude, that's my bullhorn, bro. It's my megaphone. Uh, some lady was in the street being like, give me my keys. And the guy was like, can you calm the fuck down? And then she was like, hey, no. Oh. And uh, she like, it was like she's being murdered. And I was like, look, looking out the window and she's just standing in the street screaming at this guy. And like, I don't know the situation, but anyway, I just uh, told him to both oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Unfathomably so, based. Dude, I love this megaphone. It's my favorite. Like, people people are silenced by it. <laughs> you, too, could yell at strangers with a megaphone. Dude, it's so funny. Like, they just stopped. They're not yelling anymore. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> with a megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I don't even know if I want to do this fucking project anymore. Okay, there, <laughs> there's no way to transition out of that. Just look, we have four smelters using Pyroflux to make barrel rail and the rest use the coal recipe for some reason the coal furnaces can't use productivity modules but the pyroflux ones can a little weird always feel cheated when a game gives you a tool then makes specific instances where you can't use it but i get it it's supposed to be expensive it does take a hundred beryl hydroxide to make one beryllium ingot if you're using the coal recipe i get why i'm just not a huge fan of it on that note, I really like the ingot system. I think it feels good to have one item that is unpacked into 10. It makes it feel really valuable, like each barrel ingot we craft is a bar of actual gold. And I think it's also a sneaky way of getting better performance. Instead of rendering 10 barrel plates, we can render one barrel ingot and only make 10 entities when it's unpacked into plates. It's a really nice design there. And here comes the first load of Beryl, but don't be fooled. This process is very slow. It takes hundreds of raw Beryl just to make one ingot, and we're definitely not mining that fast. I have some other things to set up on this planet though, so it's a very nice process to get going and have running in the background. First, something truly psychotic. Our logistic bot supply is low, right? So I wanted to make cargo rocket sections without using bots. This is probably the longest production chain in the game, and the time it takes to set this up can't possibly be worth it. But I did it. I did it because I needed to know. I needed to experience the bot-free design. It took over two hours, and making it with bots would probably take 10 minutes. Oh shit, I burnt the fuck out of those cookies because I forgot they were in the oven. Oh no, I didn't. Haha, <laughs> Pog Champ. These things don't dump fucking warm thermofluid, they dump cool thermofluid, which is on the other fucking side of these stupid things. Fuck, god damn it. Free. You may not like this, but this is the no bot cargo section build. Victoria videos. Do you, do you get mortality metrics for your uh, viewers? <laughs> Dude, I mean, actually, I want to, I want to like try and fine tune a AI model on my comments to make like Sauce Man commenter GPT. Yeah, you've curated a, a semi-unique demographic. The average would be like, ooh, hell yeah, I'm a cat boy. With like direct rips from the Factorio Wikipedia. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's it's so circular. I like read a comment and I'm like, oh, this guy said the cat boy. And then I say it and then that ends up in a video. And then a hundred people comment, hell yeah, I'm part of the cat boy army. And here I am saying it again. And it's going to end up in a video. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I can't stop, dude. Or stop. They're unstoppable. The unstoppable cat boy army. Dude, I, I thought they would fight it. They just fight. They're just like, yep, hell oh, yeah. That's cat 
cat boys for you. <laughs> We're in. You gotta watch. You gotta watch out. They'll pull you in. They're like, oh, I'm a cat boy? Hell yeah. I swear, if I see leather boots, then I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna put anime stickers on my leather boots. Uh, I need more anime stickers for my truck. Walking six miles, going to the cafe, and pounding like the cashier. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> just imagining you say that casually. <laughs> Sorry. No. Making all these cargo rocket sections requires more copper, and it's a very long train extension, and this is where I realized that a two-lane train track system would have worked a lot better here. As it stands, there are two LTN trains on a single lane track, and each has to wait until the other is loading or unloading. Obviously, this doesn't scale well at all, and the amount of minerals I can transport back up to my facilities is going to be very limited. We're also going to need to mine tons more beryl. This planet has several deposits of over 1 million, but with the extremely high cost per ingot, it's hard to really tell how long the beryl is going to last. A critical new science could end up requiring an extreme amount of beryl, and we'll have a hard time producing all of that. Hopefully, the new tech can help offset this. The more rocket reusability we research, the easier it is to justify rocket launches and truly connect our factories on an interplanetary basis. The giant 60 million beryl asteroid we found earlier might not currently be useful, but in a world where 80% or more of the cargo sections of a rocket are maintained when it lands, suddenly it becomes a lot more feasible to mine and launch the beryl en masse back to planet Hagen to satisfy our demands. Yeah, yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, yeah. That one Wu-Tang song, or he's like, watch your step kid, is he talking to a divorced parent? You know, that's not an angle I've ever thought of. That song, <laughs> protect your neck. Like, watch a step cute. Watch a step cute. Watch a step cute. System at a daycare. Put you in a fucking hearse. That is a good song. They don't make rap like that anymore. In 2001, Dr. Dre was like, bro, I ain't got problems. I got skis. Call Morgan Moore. Have you been beheaded by clients who have money? Riddle me this. Never mind. I just figured it out. Anytime I can be of service. We're gonna need to like increase the amount of coal going up here though, because we keep running out of foil. Epoy is uh, not known for their intellect. Yeah, they're, they're more agility build. Do you know any cat boy lawyers? The cat boilers. I could probably also load glass to make so much sandier. I mean, it's going into a provider right now, so it can definitely handle it. I will add it. Hog. Oh, all these miners mining coal. Hmm. The last rocket part we need are space capsules, which are expensive, but the Bob Mall making cargo sections already makes most of the inputs. Just need to add accumulators and solar panels, and Hagen will be completely independent. All this increased production has led to a similar brownout issue that plagued Morrigan. Low power means inserters can't grab, which means lower power and so on. I added all the solar panels still in storage, but that only netted like 22 more megawatts, which is nothing. This is where efficiency modules became the hero I didn't deserve. I've always disrespected them, they just suck. But this mod has actually created a use for them. Each big miner uses 250 kilowatts, which turns into 2.5 megawatts if productivity modules are added to all five module slots and the industrial furnaces are similar. This very quickly added up to over 450 megawatts, much more than the 400 I can currently satisfy. Two efficiency modules reduce the power needs by a machine by 80% however, and after swapping them in favor of the productivity modules, big miners already have a 40% productivity bonus anyway, my power needs came down drastically. There was still one issue though, any spike in demand can still cause the brownout cascade, forcing me to reset the entire burner power apparatus, which is very annoying. I devised a circuit setup where these power plants disconnect if accumulators are below a 5% power threshold. This way the power plants will continue to power itself and allow the factory to idle. 
This might sound counterproductive, but it means that the power plant will no longer need to be reset if my power demand is higher than my supply because it can still power itself and inserters can still grab the necessary fuel to burn. This won't be a Bob Mall, but it will center around a beacon, a design choice I've been favoring ever since we got them. 8 Productivity Module 2s is something like 4 times speed, and this can be applied to 11 assemblers at once. It's like compressing a whole factory down by 4 times. Plus, you can use the assembler module slots for productivity modules for things that get made very quickly, like copper cable and iron gears. This square will be making big miners, which I ran out of, but can resourcefully craft on this planet given the level of production we have achieved. Beryllium is set up. I'm just looking at ways to make it go faster and get it into orbit. Turns out efficiency modules are really, really good. It's not an argument, it's a fucking fact. <laughs> 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 oh, look what we have on YouTube Discovery. How to become a high value man. Thanks, YouTube. Could you send a partial, even a partially filled rocket with early um, ingot just so we can get started on the science? Yeah, I can stuff it full of like steel and glass. I have a new new one set up. Okay, what's the name of that one? I have no idea. Let me check. I could just crash land it just in the middle of the. <laughs> Is Morgan Navis orbit, which I need to change. You can just send it there for now. All right, uh, Morgan to Navis orbit. Yep. And there it is, the first barrel in space. Check it off the box. This planet was a total success. Finally, some encouraging news. After more- For fuck's sake. Of fucking course it missed. Of fucking course. That has got to be the funniest shit. Should have just sent it with no target. 100% faith that would happen anyway. Oh, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. It's like a ice cube album. Well, the good news is I've almost got energy science set up as well. We just need the holomium plates. You know, something about pumping molten fluids feels... Seems wrong, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Fucking, uh... Good luck finding a rhyme with synagogue. My giant hog. Just got back from the synagogue. Now I'm out <laughs> back. My hog. <laughs> <laughs> I know why they don't have the prod mod in space, but it still makes me sad. I feel like it's uh, it's just janky. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going for survivability first. That's fine. Hit the fucking landing pad. I tried to subdivide the single rail for more throughput, and yeah, I need an adult. Preferably was. We need the big labs. We can't use astronomic in the little ones. We did skip optimization, so that was the issue. I know we didn't skip optimization. Optimization is Amersite. We should have that one, right? Maybe I didn't. Did I just forget about that one? What the hell? Ew, that needs blank tech cards. Gotta send blank tech cards up to space. What does the optimization even give us? Move my balls to my buttholes again. Baby. The thirst for copper in space is almost unquenchable. What's using it? I don't even know. I just know that we're keep running out of it and it's blocking things. I wonder if maybe it makes more sense to just start making those somewhere else and then sending them up. Well, once we get the fancy rail up and running, I think it'll be a lot easier because we can actually kind of organize the ship. Yeah. Uh, don't mind this thing I'm making in the background. It's for science, I swear. As soon as I send the rocket up, we should have optimization science. Pretty easy to make. Not a lot of steps to it. All right, optimization. You want advanced solar panels first, I'm guessing? But yeah, that'd be great. Maybe I'll set up some advanced solar when we get the tech done. Oh, they need amersite crystals. I'm just thinking like going to Holmanite. 
planet, but there's a giant fucking list of things I have to make before I can justify going there. There is a small amount of emersite in the corner, so you could make it there. But anyway, we're getting more worker speed and worker cargo capacity. Isn't that great? It's pretty great. Worker robot speed's pretty goaded. Oh, that's why. I may or may not have cut off 90% of our solar power in space. Uh, the hunt for Red October. I am a Russian she, Captain. Yes, it's very cold. <laughs> the bots are faster, baby. Oh my god, mining productivity five costs a lot. Do we want advanced fuel? Is it expensive? It's 250 cents, not really. Why does artillery shell get extra damage from projectile damage and not explosive damage? Is it not an explosive? Artillery go boom. Burr. I like how the fusion locomotive only needs production science packs, but to research it, you need energy science packs for as a prerequisite. It might be easier to go back to Navis to get all this shit. For at least for the solar panels, I should do that here because of the Emersite. What are you trying to do? Just every single thing you need to set up a new planet. Oh, are you just gonna go there from where you are? Well, that's what I was thinking about. It's like, do I go there from here? Or do I go back to Navis and then go there? I mean, I would just ride the next rocket you send up the base and then just take a capsule down. I think it's easier to just set up from home base. Yeah, I, uh, I suppose I can just make the advanced solar panels here and then. I mean, you can just grab an inventory full of crystals when you're on the space platform and go down. I suppose, yeah. What was the name of the pad in space that you made? I'm gonna update it there. Now, orbit rail pad. You guys working on your uh, Tyson Food Space Chicken Nugget Factory or what? Yeah. At this point, I actually whipped out the whiteboard. It was getting pretty close to bedtime, so meteor defenses were all I got down this time, but the list included placing a cargo landing pad, really don't want to forget that, offloading most of my inventory to storage warehouses because most of it is easy to make on Navis, and expanding the bot network in case we need repairs from a meteor that got through our meteor defense. I've never gamed this hard that I needed to whip out the whiteboard. K2SE is getting quite the honor. And that's the whole planet pretty much done. You may have noticed that there are two rocket silos, and that's because it is necessary in the Holmanite process, and we're going to export it to the next planet that we land on. I plan on it being Barum, a large planet with massive Holmanite deposits and core fragments, notably boasting uranium, crude oil, and even a little bit of Immersite, as well as zero threat, and yes, it has water. I'm going to hitch a ride back on the next Cryonite Beryl load to Navis's moon before heading back to Navis to prep the rocket next time.